Hi, I'm Brett Jackson. I'm looking to kickstart my experimental and dare I say innovative VR game, Dimensional. It's already had a great reception, and now I'm looking to expand the scope to create a full game. I've got strong opinions about what makes a good VR experience. So strong, I decided to put everything on hold for a year and throw myself into the then unfamiliar world of game development. In VR, you want to feel as though you're in another world. So naturally, you'll want to stand up, look around, walk around, duck, lean and explore like you would in real life. You'll want to interact with the environment and watch it react realistically. And when you're in danger, you're going to want to physically move out of the way. My main goal was to allow you to do all of those things, even if you only have a small area to play in. In fact, you'll only need enough room to take a couple of steps. Better still, using natural movement means you won't suffer from nausea. You'll even be your own height within the game, so everything will feel just right. I want the player to feel immersed in the game world, to always wonder what's around the next corner, and for the game's threats and dangers to feel truly convincing. Thirty years ago, we were visited by trans-dimensional beings. They were being hunted to extinction. Together we built chambers deep underground to hide and protect their offspring. The hunters have now found our chambers and built machines to smash their way through. We need your help. We must rescue the offspring. In Dimensional, you mark out the space you have available by walking around it with your headset. Whether you have a large room available or just a small area, you're going to get the full experience. With your grid permanently visible on the floor, you can see at a glance where it's safe to physically move. Now, you can teleport your grid to new locations and start to explore. Dimensional doesn't just allow physical movement, it insists on it. During some teleports, you're dropped to an interdimensional state. As your gaze follows the object, you're comfortably reoriented to face the tracking camera. If needed, you're guided to stand in a new position to make sure you have the room to complete the next physical action. You can even rotate and position your grid before teleporting, giving you full control over how you complete physical challenges. Expect puzzles that will challenge your mind as you carefully move and thoroughly explore to find the way forward. It won't be an easy game. Hello, I'm Digby. You'll use Digby to interact with the world. He's not the happiest or brightest droid, but he does what he's told, most of the time. By the end of the game, you'll need to master the many subtle ways that he can be used. Oh great, you're gonna throw me on that bomb, aren't you? What I love about Dimensional is that it takes the sort of free movement that you get with a Vive and it really allows you to do that kind of thing with the Oculus. It allows you to, to have very set limits that you can move within, uh, allows you to use your body sort of physically, uh, and it, it makes the Oculus Rift a more interesting and more powerful experience. So, why do I need your help? I need Kickstarter to help me grow Dimensional into something bigger and better and more polished. There's so many ideas I want to explore. From a chorus of singing aliens that you can choose to rescue or sacrifice, to walking out onto an invisible platform over a gigantic pit. With your backing, I'll deliver a game that breaks new ground and uses the full potential of your new VR headset. Brett has a fantastic future in VR. The design, the concept, and the idea behind Dimensional is fantastic. Uh, and I think if you can back and support him in his Kickstarter, uh, he's going to be a great figure in VR in the future.